gonna do doing this type of videos where basically you talk a lot of truckload of shit and basically you basically build it from your point of view and hopefully everyone goes on successfully goes on your side or basically saying that you don't have to trust me just basically listen from my point of view we're here to talk about serious what else am i gonna say so you might have heard or you might have just watched my videos of reagan aka this youtuber that you're seeing right in front of you now you wonder why this youtuber is in my video well i should say her character or persona for reason someone insulted her by saying her oc which was a little too far even for me as well i didn't even at the beginning i thought it was an oc at the time because it was pretty much having complete redesign but so was my character so i couldn't give the complaint about it pretty much so why is reagan in the videos well reagan is like the negative magnet like you know there's two magnets two magnets they both are the same magnets but one side is negative one side is positive Swag 20 is the positive, while Reagan is the ne negative. They try to cut it, won't connect. That's why you see Swag 20 not talking to Reagan or basically um, going too close to Reagan completely. It's not because he can destroy her or everything went hell loose. It's because the last encounter in his timeline. Now, you may say that why I say timelines is because Swag 20 did go in front of timelines, but. The last time he encouraged someone that looks like Reagan or was almost identical to Reagan was someone that looks almost identical, who was Kate Someone who had the similar powers like Reagan and etc. That's why he didn't like encountering Reagan and that type of stuff. He tried to do this and that, try to make a bit of a mess, but try to see what the outcome is as soon as he done it. Nothing really much happened, so pretty much he had to let it slide. And after basically taking one child away and then taking another child and not passing it back, pretty much, he would just kept the child and just did some weird stuff, being honest. That's being honest. Yeah. <laughs> so, why is Reagan added to the videos while Swag 20 is that type of thing? Because honestly, they have some thing in common. They're both shapeshifters because Swag 20 in his past, he's able to shapeshift into vehicles along with shapeshifting to human like forms. So, pretty much. He's a shapeshifter. Well, I would say transform, but pretty much shapeshifting is pretty much transforming, but in a different word to how to pronounce it. Pretty much. So we're just going to go with that type of drill. Another thing that I think everyone's kind of confused or confused at all is about the um, character's immortality. God what did a stupid move, in the honesty. If you didn't know, Swag20's past went a little messy. Not messy as inappropriate messy, as messy as something didn't turn out to go right and turned him to have something that he didn't ask. Like, you wanted to get the thing, but someone gets it for you instead of you getting it for yourself. That type of thing. I'm having to deal with that in my real life, so obviously that's pretty identical. Another thing about saying that why is he my persona not an OC because pretty much I mostly use him all the time in my videos and pretty much all the time except for that remake that I just released today. So another thing about me that I should bring up I'm the type of person who actually let people to damage my character but pretty much he can't really die even if you tear him to pieces pretty much and thanks to God who gave him immortality he pretty much cannot age. Pretty much. And because of it, he had to go in different timelines just to test his immortality to his limit. Immortality has no limits whatsoever. Pretty much it's unlimited. So what he has to deal with is stuff that he didn't ask for and some things that doesn't make any sense. Like his ability to turn people into melted liquid. Now it's an ability that you didn't see in any of the videos or whatsoever. But it's an ability that basically turns anyone into a liquid form, but not able to turn them back unless basically the person who has power to two. Pretty much, he can bring someone back to life after they turn into complete mush. That type of thing. Then we got the other ability, aka Rust. And another thing about Swag 20, his actual name is actually just Letters of Abilities. You just can't tell because they've been shorted down to the four-letter category. 
like Reagan has six letters, but we don't know what those words of letters means because obviously we don't know what Reagan is by the letter, but we guess with that type of thing. We already know she's a knight. I think she's a knight. That's obvious. Why does she not have a name? And she has a knight armor that looks pretty more identical to the one that I actually upgraded. So yeah. Oh yeah, another thing. Why did I make um, Reagan's character have armor? It's not because. So I turn, it's not because likely it didn't get upgraded or updated. It's because I just wanted to up, not because, no, not updated. It's because, well, Reagan hasn't got new replacements. And also, I don't want to create armor that can easily just break under the hands of someone who has immortality. Wait, that's my character. But besides that, just, it would, no. Uh, that's why. I just decided to give it just repair because obviously it saves um, Reagan repairing the armor herself. Or doing some elemental power that she doesn't understand or learn from. Another thing that I think everyone was kind of confused as well was about why did the other two personalities, or say Sister and Psycho, had a bit of a grudge. Let's just say they didn't like how Rika does her things, but so I turned it kind of in the weirdest way, not in a love way, but in a way of saying as a friend way, though they're not friends. Another thing why he had a big grudge is because he encountered a shapeshifter army that was about to destroy an entire city and he had to deal with that along with other hybrids to stop them. He was the only hybrid that actually managed to survive the mess because at the time they didn't have the technology to give him the upgrades. So he had to go in a mode called the transformer mode and he had to go into a mode where basically he had to be the most armor of Vestal ever calling him to have to be the most deflective or the defensive of them all. But he couldn't save every other shapeshifter, or should I say actually the hybrids, not the shapeshifters because they were pretty much trying to destroy a city that was... didn't even get to ask for demolish nation or something like that. And because of it, he stand his own ground. Though, he had to wipe out an entire army of shapeshifters. He didn't really have a choice at the time. He told him to stop and leave. Otherwise, there will be bloodshed, but the shapeshifters had an order to destroy that city, so he didn't really have a choice. Because in that city, he had humans for some weird reason, and he didn't ask why, he didn't ask, or he was wondering what the hell's going on, but he was asking, why is this situation not normal? Why is it going out of hand? Why is it this and that? There's some questions he was asking in his time. Because... He has immortality. He went through the human adult stages, from from being super deformed from a childhood type of stage, from being completely like adulthood at teenager stage, and then basically, as soon as he hit twenty, the immortality kicked in, aka the non-aging part kicked in. Yeah, he's twenty years. He looks twenty, but he's some trillion years old. I may say I copied someone else, but no, pretty much because I couldn't basically copy Jesus. Jesus at the time of that type of thing. Not much. Looks like when he went through different timelines, making him basically the multi-level of things. Yep, he went into dimensions as well. He even went into the shattered glass dimension, and he caused the whole conflict to stop. But then it happened again after Optimus managed to obtain Dark Energon. And then he betrayed everyone. And then all the Autobots went on the bad side again, and all the Decepticons had to go and save the world again. Twice. And because he didn't notice this until likely after coming back to the dimension, finding out that the Decepticons are like taking a lot of beating after these Autobots. He decided to help out, and then he had to end up destroying Shatterglass Optimus Prime. And then he unlocked the mode called Shatterglass Optimus Prime 20 mode. Which made him look like Optimus Prime from Shadow Glass, but not entirely because he's more like a wolf character, so not everything will look like exactly. And that's the thing about his modes, you get the drill. I don't know why, basically, I bet everyone's going to be confused saying, uh, what the hell is he talking about? We're talking about his character. Now, back to the immortality part, which is something that I think everyone needs to understand. He didn't ask for immortality. God gave him immortality. He didn't even ask for it, and he dared God to give him the worst gift. Now, reincarnating is pretty much like immortality, which 
that includes never dying. But he like decided to like give Swag 20 immortality, but as soon as he hit 20, the non-aging, basically never age, kicks in. And then as soon as that happens, he stopped aging after hitting 20. And this is because the immortality has that time limit where basically when he hits a certain age, that's like adult stage, for a shapeshifter, he will never age back or just age older. So that's pretty much. And because this immortality, he didn't ask for, he tested this immortality to see if it's true or not. So first he shot himself in the head once, then he tore his entire torso off when the head is not even attached to it. That's another thing about this immortality thing. Unlike other immortalities where basically if you cut the head off, the person actually dies, even with immortality. This immortality has no regards whatsoever. Though he didn't have the ability to heal. So he had a lot of map damage marks, but he never died like a vampire. He had so many damage marks, but he never healed. That's pretty much like a hybrid, basically. Now you may say demons have healing factors, he was one that doesn't have healing factors because he would have to eat something to give him the healing. And he dared himself not to eat while in this situation. Which caused him to have his entire skeleton damage in later times, which before even Reagan came along. This all happened while Reagan didn't exist. And then when Reagan came along, this caused Rank 20 to finally go into like, be those immortalities that help the world instead of trying to eradicate it from existence. That type of person, not the person who basically wants to destroy the world and take it as its own. Just know. After basically dealing with that, that situation, he pretty much had to like go with different type of things. And then after basically having the upgraded, which he didn't ask for, after having this upgrade, he just didn't know what to do next. After getting upgraded again, which is this design that I'm using, things don't look the same, or things have similar parts but not changed a lot. And because of the changements, he made him look more, or should I say, he looks more mechanical than living. Pretty much. So that's about it. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. About the Reagan situation, or to say about why Spec 20 is having to deal with Reagan, or Reagan having to deal with Spec 20, because Reagan and Spec 20 have similar thing in common, able to shape shift, also changing forms, aging, and all that type of stuff. I don't know if Reagan age, be honest. And that type of stuff, you get the drill. And then basically, they have similar thing in common, they're pretty much basically like magnets. Swag 20 is the negative, while Reagan is the positive. Reagan is pretty much the reincarnation of Swag 20, in my opinion. Though everyone else has their own opinions of how Swag 20 is. Yep, he is a bit of a nightmare. Sometimes a jerk, you get the drift. He's a bit of a pain to deal with, but he doesn't really care because, well, for starters, he has to deal with a lot of things, so he doesn't care what happens to him because he never will get himself destroyed. And just because he's grey doesn't mean he's actual skin. That's another thing I will bring up. He doesn't actually have skin because at the time, in his past, yes, he did have skin. But the skin was metal. Hard. Hard as a rock, basically. And then somehow he got the upgrade of not having any living flesh, that's including the hair, it was not real hair. It was metal. And it was the strongest metal, titanium, basically. And then he got himself upgraded and took the Minecraft material, Neverite, and did a fusion metal combined and basically did the undestructible metal that exists. The same type of material that's on SCP-096. The indestructible bones, he took a bit of DNA of that and slapped it with the metal. Make it very indestructible. He even tested against... 20 nuclear bombs or warheads for that reason and pretty much he didn't actually suffer damage and because every time he wanted to make sure he looks like he suffered damage but actually his inner frame is actually strong then they look that is how things got a little confusement or a lot of changements happens
that's the, pretty much about him and Reagan. I know this video doesn't make any sense, even for myself, after talking about it, but I hope everyone understands about his entire timeline. Yes, this includes basically, in his type of timeline, yes, he did used to do Beyblades before stopping it and giving the Beyblade to someone else. Because, even though it was fun, he kind of got bored of doing that type of stuff. So, yeah, that's why... He changed a lot. And also another thing I will bring up, Swag20 is learning how to basically behave like an ordinary shapeshifter or hybrid for that reason. Because pretty much he lost his emotions after the war actually. Not the upgrade, the war. The war caused him to have no remorse, making him aggressive as hell. Even though he was a legend, he was aggressive when it came to fighting. So aggressive, he fighted unfairly. That's something about Swag 20. And when he encountered Jesse, he didn't want him to basically fade away. So he went back in time just to make sure Jesse doesn't forget about him or die on him for that reason. And because of it, causing Jesse to have the same immortality that Swag 20 has, causing him to never will die or age. And then Cyrus somehow managed to get the same ability. I have no idea how this is working. Or for that reason, pretty much basically it's confusing. Now you may say that he's my character, so how do I have a thing? How do I not know what he's doing? Because I can't control him since he's pretty much like me, but in an alternative timeline. Pretty much. Hope everyone understands this video and I hope everyone can understand it from every point of view, every angle. You get the drill. Until next time, have a good day.